Okay, let's talk about something that affects millions of us but is way too often met with total silence. You know, our sexual health. If you or your partner have felt that drop in libido, struggled with performance, or maybe you've just kind of lost that spark, you are definitely not alone. It's a massive health issue, but there's a key piece of the puzzle that's almost always overlooked. All right, let's dive right in. So why isn't this a bigger conversation in your doctor's office? Well, the simple and kind of frustrating truth is that most physicians just aren't trained in hormone optimization. Seriously. They can spot the consequences, you know, things like high blood pressure or erectile dysfunction, but they often miss the root cause because they're just not looking at the whole hormonal picture. And this isn't some small niche problem we're talking about. It's a huge, widespread physiological issue. The way medicine often works is by treating symptoms, like the ones you see here, but it frequently misses the metabolic root cause. And that's exactly what we're going to get into today. Yeah, this quote, it just hits you, right? It really captures the frustration that experts in this field feel. They see all the data, they understand the connections, but they also see this massive gap in conventional medicine. And that's what sets the stage for what we're about to cover, the information that can help you bridge that gap. So let's get right to the core of it. Here is the cold hard truth. Your libido, and this goes for both men and women, it runs on testosterone. But here's the secret. Optimizing it isn't just about the dose you get, it's all about the delivery. So the whole thing really comes down to this one enzyme, 5-alpha reductase. I want you to think of it as your secret weapon. It's super concentrated in the genital tissues. We're talking the scrotum in men and the labia in women. And this enzyme's job, it's to take regular testosterone and basically supercharge it into its most powerful, most active form. And here's how that magic happens. When a compounded testosterone cream is put right on these tissues, that 5-alpha reductase enzyme goes to work. It converts testosterone into something called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. And DHT, well, that's what creates the wow effect. It's the powerhouse that's directly responsible for your libido, sexual function, and even the satisfaction you get from orgasm. If you're not targeting this pathway, you are absolutely missing out on the biggest benefits. But here's the thing. Testosterone doesn't work alone. It's not a solo act. It needs a really strong supporting cast. So now we've got to talk about estradiol and progesterone, this power duo that is absolutely vital for sexual health in both men and women, but they're so often misunderstood or just ignored completely. Okay, now this is where things get really interesting. For men, having optimal estradiol isn't a bad thing. It's actually essential for erectile function and can even be protective. And for postmenopausal women, its role is even more critical, especially for heart health. But, and this is a big but, how it's taken changes everything. And you have to understand this difference. It is so important. When you take estradiol orally, it goes through the liver first. This is called the first pass effect. And this specific process is scientifically proven to improve your cholesterol and offer major cardiovascular protection. But with things like patches, it bypasses the liver and you lose those incredible metabolic benefits. So the way you take it is absolutely key. And then we have progesterone. I want you to think of this as the hormone that sets the stage for intimacy. It calms your system, it quiets that anxious mind, and it helps you sleep better. Basically, it helps you actually focus on connection. And it's essential for sexual satisfaction and proper blood flow, which is also called vasocongestion. Okay, so, what if you've done all this work, you've optimized your testosterone, you've balanced your estradiol and progesterone, but that desire, that spark, still isn't quite there? This is where we have to look beyond just the hormones and start looking at the systems in the brain that actually regulate arousal. For those really stubborn cases of what's called hypoactive sexual desire disorder, or HSDD, where hormones alone aren't cutting it, there are some really advanced treatments. One of the most promising is a peptide called PT-141, which you might know by its brand name, bromelanotide. And it works on a totally different level than hormones. So instead of working on the body, PT-141 goes straight to the source, your brain. It targets a specific receptor that helps kickstart the release of dopamine. You know, the pleasure and motivation chemical. This is all about regulating sexual motivation right where it begins. While it's officially FDA approved for premonopausal women with HSSD, it's also used really effectively off-label for others too. And the results, they can be pretty amazing. For a related and let's be honest, deeply frustrating condition called anorgasmia, that's difficulty achieving climax, PT-141 has shown a success rate of about 50% of the time. 
It just goes to show you how powerful it can be when you target the brain's desire centers. Now, whether we're talking about testosterone or these advanced peptides, this next point is something you absolutely have to remember. Here it is. Hormones are bullets, but they are not magic bullets. They need the rifle of your lifestyle habits to actually hit the target. You can have the best ammunition in the world, but if you ignore the basics, you are just wasting your time and money. Let's just start with sleep. Your body's entire hormone factory runs on its sleep schedule. Just dropping from a solid eight hours of sleep a night down to five can cause a huge 10 to 15% drop in your testosterone levels during the day. Quality sleep isn't a luxury, folks. It is a non-negotiable requirement for good hormonal health. And then there's this. This quote from an expert, man, it says it all. You just can't out-hormone a bad metabolic state. Visceral fat, that's the dangerous fat stored deep around your organs, it's like a little inflammatory factory. If you don't deal with it, your hormone therapy will be fighting an uphill battle that just can't win. And here's exactly why. Visceral fat is basically a hormone disrupting machine. First, it's constantly pumping out inflammatory signals that throw your whole system out of whack. Second, it literally turns your precious testosterone into estrogen. And third, it lowers a key protein called SHBG, which is like the delivery truck for your hormones. Without enough of those trucks, your hormones just can't get to the cells where they need to go. So you see, sexual health isn't just one thing. It's this beautiful combination of optimal hormones, a healthy metabolism, and good lifestyle habits. And the best news is, you can take control of this. It all starts by asking the right questions. So please, don't let shame or a provider's lack of training hold you back. Walk into your next appointment armed with this information. Ask them about the DHT wow effect. Ask about the heart benefits of oral estradiol. Talk about how your lifestyle is impacting your hormones. And if you need to, ask if advanced therapies like peptides might be an option for you. Ultimately, this all comes down to one big transformative question. You know, so much of medicine today is focused on just keeping you in the normal range for your age. But normal often just means you're in a state of managed decline. The goal isn't to be normal. The goal is to be optimal. So if you're ready to stop settling for normal and you want to start pursuing what's optimal for you, hit that follow button, share this with someone who needs to hear it, and let's bring this vital information to everyone. Thanks so much for watching this Within You Health production.